Welcome to another example on how to find the standard equation of a circle given the endpoints of a diameter. The standard equation of a circle is given here, where the center of the circle has coordinates h, k, and r is equal to the length of the radius. So from having two endpoints of a diameter, we have to find the center of the circle and the length of the radius. So to help us set this up, let's take a look at a circle that has a diameter with these endpoints. Here's our circle, and notice how one endpoint is negative two, negative three, and the other endpoint is negative one, five. So this is the diameter of the circle. Notice how the center of the circle is the midpoint of the diameter. So if we find the midpoint of this segment, we'll have h and k, and then we'll still have to find r, or the length of the radius, which would be the length of this segment here. So let's start by finding the center by determining our midpoint. Again, the center has coordinates h, k, which in this case would be the midpoint of the diameter. So let's go ahead and call these the ones, x sub one, y sub one, x sub two, and y sub two. So for the x-coordinate, we would have negative two plus negative one divided by two, and the y-coordinate we would have negative three plus five divided by two. Well, negative three divided by two is just negative three halves, and negative three plus five is two, two divided by two is one. So now we know that h is equal to negative three halves, and k is equal to positive one. Now in the last video, in order to find r, we found the distance from the center to one of the endpoints of the diameter, but notice in this case, the x-coordinate of the center is a fraction, and it's gonna be messy if we have a fraction inside the distance formula given here below. So instead of doing this, what we're gonna do is find the length of the diameter, or the distance from the two endpoints, and then take half of that to find the length of the radius. Again, we're gonna find the length of the diameter, and then take half of that to find the length of the radius. So using the endpoints of the diameter, we can say r is gonna be equal to one half times the distance between the two endpoints of the diameter. So underneath the square root, we're going to have x sub two minus x sub one squared. That would be negative one minus negative two squared plus y sub two minus y sub one squared, that would be five minus negative three squared. So we have one half times the square root, this would be negative one plus two, would be one squared or one, plus, this would be five plus three or eight, eight squared is 64. So we have one half times the square root of 65, which we can just write as square root of 65 divided by two. But now remember, our equation calls for r squared, not r. So from here, we'll just square both sides of the equation. We'd have r squared equals the square root of 65 divided by two squared. And now we'll just square the numerator and denominator separately. The square root of 65 squared would just be 65. The squaring undoes the square root, and then for the denominator we have two squared or four. So now we know that r squared is equal to 65 fourths, h is equal to negative three halves, and k is equal to one. We can write the equation of our circle in standard form. We would have the quantity x minus h, or minus negative three halves, but that would become plus three halves squared plus the quantity y minus k or y minus positive one squared equals 65 fourths. This would be the standard equation of our circle with the diameter having the given endpoints. I hope you found this helpful.